Hey, what's up everyone? My name is John and welcome to my sailboat refit. In the last video, you saw me put a uh, three coats of a finish primer on and then after I sanded that, you saw that I sanded through it and it, I didn't have very good coverage. So I went back over it with this uh, really thick high build primer and now I'm getting ready to sand that. And so um, I'm going to uh, spray a guide coat on this and I'll use a palm sander to, uh, to knock it down first because it's, it has a lot of texture on here. And um, then I'll use the long board, uh, long block to get it really flat. You can see here where I uh, filled in all these gouges with the uh, silicon and fairing compound and you cannot see anything. Of course, I need to sand it. You can really see the, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a lot of texture on here. All right, I'm gonna use a guide coat. I'll spray on here first. That way I can tell if, uh, if there's any highs or lows and make sure I've got all the texture knocked off. And it really uh, helps me to determine how smooth the hull is. Um, so I'm gonna use this, spray this on, and then I'll use, like I said, a palm sander to kind of get the majority of this texture off. And then uh, I'll go back over it with the, uh, the long sanding board. I'll just do a little bit at a time here. All right, so I've, I've used the palm sander and I've gotten this a little area here just to show you. All right, so I don't know how well you can see this, but you can see the texture here or the black where the guide coat has remained. And I've gone over this with the palm sander. And um, now I'm going to start working that little section with a a sanding block and maybe you get a better idea of how this works. And the thing about doing this, you want to go at an angle, crisscross. You, you don't really, you can go up and down, but you really, you really want to go at an angle like this. You never want to go like that. And the reason is, uh, is so that your scratches will be crossed when you go over it with the finished uh, finish paint, those scratches won't show. And it's, it's not as critical with marine paint, but when you get into automotive, it's very critical. And you can see how you have a low spot, a high spot, a low spot, and a high spot. Well, the board is flat, so it's sanding down the high spots until it reaches the lower spots. And I'm just doing a little section here so that you can have a reference. Put a little guide coat on it here so you can see. That'll get you a really smooth, so when you go back over it with your paint, there'll be very little that needs to be done as far as uh, getting a really shiny glass smooth where you can see your reflection in the paint finish. 
and you'll see me do it here. You'll see in the end results, it'll really look nice. All right, so I've spent the last few weeks sanding this high build primer and removing this texture and getting a really good smooth finish here now, which is ready for paint. So I'll take some acetone and clean this up. Um, and then I'll use a tack rag to get any kind of uh, particles or anything off of it. And of course, I, I still have to sand the transom. Um, but I've decided to paint it this, um, stark white. Alex Seal stark white with the red, red and blue uh, boot stripe. And of course, the antifile will be black. And I'll put another stripe up here. So as hot as it is here in Texas, I think the best thing to do is to paint it white. I wanted to go with the dark, dark blue, but um, like I said, it's just it's so hot here, and uh, the white is just uh, better for the heat. Doesn't absorb as much heat. But anyway, um, that's all the time I have for this video. Uh, like I said, unfortunately, um, just wasn't able to get much work done other than getting this sanded. I just had so much work to do. My uh, pesky day job got in the way and I wasn't able to do as much work here. But hopefully as soon as my order of paint comes in, I'll be able to start painting and uh, get that in the next video, hopefully. Thank you.